Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. Say hi. You're cute. Uh, we are selling our shelving situation in our living room because it's just not functional anymore. So Adam just emptied all of the shelves out and we're gonna sell that console. Hold on, dude. So the plan will be to get rid of all three of these pieces and then get one piece with storage underneath it for toys and the TV to go on top. But yeah, everything is everywhere now. I hadn't restyled our shelves since before Christmas. So they've kind of looked like garbage for like a year, probably. <laughs> so it's actually a good thing to just get rid of these and call it a day. You say hi. Good morning. Um, it is. Um, yeah, it's Monday morning. Uh, I'm getting ready to put a little bit of makeup on. Whoa, that just got really bright. Okay, I am just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. My skin is very red still from a laser that I did last week. I kind of thought it would be like calmed down by now, but it's not. So, I am going to just throw minimal makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna throw minimal makeup on um, on the agenda. You just wanted to say hi and hang out too, huh? Okay, there we go. That's better, huh? Is that better? So, on the agenda this week is I am cutting my hair off. I am going to donate it, which I. <laughs> I like already regret doing this because I know I'm not going to like it being as short as it is going to have to be. But anyway, that's what we're doing on Thursday. Theo has his one year pediatrician appointment on Wednesday. It's going to be a busy week. I did want to update you because I showed this, which is the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen in my last vlog. And when I was in Ulta, the little stand just caught my eye and then I bought it. And after looking into it, I will not be using it because it is a chemical sunscreen. I'm going through this whole process right now trying to fix my skin from all of the sun damage. And a chemical sunscreen is not as good as a physical sunscreen. So I ended up buying this one, which I've heard basically every influencer I follow talk about it from Dime, which I just, I don't know. I feel like it's, this is one of those brands that I'm skeptical of because everyone talks about it. So I feel like maybe it's not good, but I'm giving it a try. So I tried it for the first time uh, yesterday and this is a physical sunscreen and it's SPF 30. They did a three pack deal on these. And so I just like fully committed and bought that, but it has 19% zinc. So and that is what you want for like the physical sunscreen. So I just felt like I needed to come back on here and say that about the Super Goop because I loved how it looked under makeup, but it was a chemical sunscreen, which is why it was clear. And um, I just, especially because I have all of the sun damage that I'm now trying to combat, I feel like I really need to take my sunscreen seriously. So I am officially switching. Uh, I've only used this once, so and my skin is like obviously very, very red still. So I don't know for sure what it, will, what it will look like under makeup after my skin goes back to normal. But I will keep you updated. I liked it yesterday. We will see going forward as I use different products over it if I still like it. Also, I ended up buying that NARS, um, what was this? The Light Reflecting Foundation. I did a review on this. I bought a shade. I actually had them shade match me at Sephora and the shade was terrible it was like not a good match for me so I ended up returning it and I got this in Santa Fe which is my normal shade so I've been wearing it the past couple of days again my skin is not normal right now so it's hard to tell what it would look like if my skin was not so red to start out with so I I'm gonna keep using it I'm I'm hoping my skin will not be so red in a couple of days Maybe later this week in this vlog, I will be able to show you what this looks like on. All right, I told you guys I'm gonna vlog more, so I'm gonna try right now. Jenna is here and we are packing up some orders and there's quite a few of the personalized bracelets that I have to make. So I'm just gonna show making them and then we'll do a little packing time lapse. The first thing I do is pull all of the letters for whatever the personalizations are. <laughs> Theo, what are you doing? Our 
progress of making the bracelets, but this is the progress that I've got so far. And then Jenna is starting to package everything up. So here's our new packaging in. Take one of the boxes. I can't remember if I've shown this or not yet. I don't think I have, but here are the new boxes. And then we have um, the pouches. So. Just like the old days of working at the pizzeria. sitting on mama's desk eating a little snack <gasps> yum you want more mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. we just got back a little bit ago from his one-year appointment and they had to do shots which is never fun and i feel like the older he gets the worse they get because his reaction and everything is just so much stronger than it was when he was teeny tiny but anyway i i'm just gonna try and get a bunch of stuff done today i'm trying to like reorganize a lot of stuff for espy so that's gonna be like my main focus today i call all the men in my life a snackosaurus like my dad adam and now theo like these boys just snack and snack and snack it's insane like i swear i could feed theo 24 hours a day and he would eat it's i don't know how he's so little still how are you still so little i had just finished getting ready and i am going to get my hair cut today but i want to show you one last look before i <laughs> chop it all off and donate it this is the final look at my hair so we're gonna cut eight inches off of it and we'll see what it looks like after. I already know that I'm not gonna feel like myself because I I would wanna cut like four inches off. I think it's gonna land somewhere between my collarbone and my armpit. So probably somewhere like right here. So that much off. My one hope is that when it's shorter, it will hold a curl better because right now it's just so straight that it doesn't, it doesn't curl easily. Ready? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, it's so short. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's been a couple of hours. I obviously am home. <sighs> I don't know what I think about this. <laughs> I'm definitely not used to it. Um, it feels so short. It just, it just ends, which is just so weird. I have my hair in ponytails, so I need, I need to send that in for the donation. Um, but I, I guess I haven't really talked about this haircut at all on here so basically my hair was that's the longest it's been in at least 10 years and it's basically just because I got so busy and had gotten my hair cut that it just continued to grow and grow and grow I figured I would cut it to the place that I just am like the most comfortable with it where I always cut it and then let it grow out a little bit more which is like here ish and that would be about four inches off of what I had. And then I just kept thinking about all the little kids that have cancer and don't have any hair. And I felt like if I'm already gonna cut four inches off, why not just cut enough so that I can donate it? And so I decided to do that. <laughs> so I am not the biggest fan of short hair on me personally. It's just not my favorite thing but I'm hoping that I'll get used to this. Um, maybe it'll just be fun for summer, it'll be easy. It's less hair for Theo to pull on because it's not like, you know, all the way down here. Uh, but that's just why I did it. I, I definitely wouldn't have just cut it all off just because I like short hair because that's just not really my style. Like I don't feel like me with short hair, but we'll see, maybe, maybe I'll learn to love it Maybe I won't, and if I don't, then it'll grow back out, and it is what it is. I don't think that I will have an opportunity again where my hair is that long that I would be able to cut enough to donate it without it being like up to here. 
So I think this was kind of like the one opportunity that I had that I would be able to donate it. So I just wanted to take the opportunity and do something good. And so I found a foundation, I think it's called children with hair loss. I will link it down below if you're interested. I do believe that it's Michigan based or maybe they have a Michigan chapter, but they don't charge anything for the wigs for kids, which I just think is really important. I didn't want somebody to be making a child who's already going through so much pay for it. They also take color treated hair and gray hair. So it doesn't have to be like virgin hair like mine is where you haven't dyed it before. I don't mean this in like a conceited or any negative way whatsoever, but I do feel like my hair is kind of like ideal hair to donate just because I have never dyed it and it is naturally straight. So I think that they'll have to do less to it to prep it to be in a wig, which yeah, just lots of reasons that I felt like I should donate. So um, hopefully I'll get used to this, but here's the situation. In other news, I ordered a desktop computer, which I didn't think that I'd have a desktop again, I don't know, ever, but my laptop is just so slow and I recently switched to Final Cut Pro from iMovie and my computer is just, it's not, it's not hanging the way that I need it to. So I did order a new computer way back, I think on like May 1st or something, and it was supposed to come next Wednesday, but it actually got delivered today. So I'm going to unbox it and set it up and show you guys, I'm really excited. I haven't had a desktop in so long, but I'm excited to have a nice big screen to edit on and a computer that has the upgraded RAM so it'll go faster and I will be able to get things done faster. I won't be waiting around all the time, so. Let's unbox that. Here is the box that it came in. I'm sure the packaging is going to be beautiful. satisfying how everything is so perfectly packaged with all the tabs to pull it all out. I ended up getting this is the like touchpad instead of the mouse because I think that I'll use this more. And then it came with the keyboard and these are just the power cords, I believe. It's going to go in this corner. <laughs> so I need to move a few things around so that I can get it set up. I'm so excited about this right now, you guys. I it's one of those things that it's a big purchase for me and I've been waiting for it for almost two months. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. And it just looks so beautiful. Let's get it hooked up. I feel like this is the part that everyone loves the most. I'm very excited to have this instead of a regular mouse. Hopefully I like it with the desktop because I have i haven't had a desktop in so long. And now I need to pair my keyboard. If you can't tell, I'm very, very, very excited about this. <laughs> I know to a lot of people buying a new computer is like not that big of a deal, but for me, it is a big deal. And it's like a very large investment into my business. So I'm just so excited to have something that's more functional and faster and just like not editing all of my videos on this teeny tiny monitor to have a nice set up space. <sighs> so excited. Okay, I have it mostly set up. <laughs> I have the worst hiccups ever right now. <clears throat> I get the hiccups daily, but these are, I've had them for like 30 or 40 minutes and they are so intense that they hurt my stomach. Anyway, I have my computer uh, mostly set up. Theo's uh, birthday gift was a buy online, pick up in store situation. And then they canceled the order. And then I bought it just regular online for it to be shipped. And then a couple days later, I got a notification saying that it was ready for pickup at the mall. So I grabbed it today on my way home from getting my hair cut. Are you saying hi? Don't grab it, pups. Hey, don't grab it. <coughs> so we're gonna open it up and put it together. <gasps> Are you a vlogger now? Huh? 
Let's see what it is. You don't want to see what it is after this step? Because that's when I'm going to really need the help, okay? Please say yes. Are you saying hi to your friends? You say hi, friends. Hi, friends. What's your first project? Dude, you are so cute. It is Friday morning and we're gonna go for a walk before it gets um, too hot out. So it's about 7.40 right now. So it has been like almost 100 degrees. The real feel with the humidity has been like 105, 106 the past two days. So we haven't been able to go outside much so I figured we should go out now before it gets too hot today, too. So, let's go. Hey! I love you. Let's go, okay? I love this stroller because he can face out like this and see the world, or he can be turned around and facing me. Are you ready, dude? Let's go. I just put Theo down. He's in the room next to me and he is not the happiest, so we'll see. But I finished my skincare. I'm going to put on this sunscreen so that you can see what it looks like as I'm applying it. Oh yeah, definitely got sunscreen in my hair. <laughs> That's okay. So you can see it goes on white. I almost feel like my, my face goes through like a purple phase when I'm rubbing it in. My skin is obviously a little red from rubbing it in, but that is what the sunscreen looks like. I've been putting it on after all of my skincare right before foundation. And now I'm going to apply this foundation. I do feel like I don't know, my face still looks a little bit red to me. It's not terrible. The light is coming into the side. Okay, that's better. My light is now behind the camera. I just had to maneuver some stuff. This is what my skin is looking like right now. It's, it's still just like a little bit not normal, I guess. Uh, and I will say that for this foundation, I have been wringing out my sponge as much as I can and then just getting a little bit of toilet paper and getting a little extra moisture out so that it's like as lightly damp as possible without just being dry. This is what the foundation looks like. I haven't said it. I haven't done anything except put the foundation on and some concealer under my eyes. It's not full full coverage by any means you can still see my pigmentation but I feel like it's really natural and beautiful so I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will show you what it looks like when I'm done I just put dry shampoo in my hair so ignore my streaks I'm letting it marinate before I massage it in but this is what my makeup looks like now that I'm done with it with this foundation I'll link it below I I don't know. I'm really liking it now. I I feel like my feelings were a little mixed. I know having the wrong color definitely makes it hard to tell what the foundation will really be like. I just think it's a really nice, beautiful, skin-like finish. My blush is a little heavy. I think it'll fade soon. I might blend it out a little bit more, but this is it. Really quickly before I end the vlog, I wanted to show you the workbench and what it looked like um, without Theo on it. But this, it's such high quality. It's really nice wood. Everything on here is functional. I love that every tool has a place. All of these go in their little places. 
So super, super high quality. We really wanted to find him a gift that would work now, but would also work in a few years and he could grow with. It's just really hard to find a gift for a one-year-old that works for multiple years because they're so specific and they grow so much when they're this little, but he's really curious about this. And I know that it's going to get better and better as he gets older because he'll be able to use more of the stuff. And right now, he can't use as much of it, but he's really curious about it and he's been playing around with it, which is awesome. So I will link it below if you are in the market for a gift for a little one. And I do think that it would work for multiple ages. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.